take you on a quick trailer tour due to the fact that I got much of my inspiration from watching a lot of YouTube videos and seeing how everybody else's setups were, you know, pick and chose some ideas or they spawned some concepts for myself that I really just wanted to see through. I'm about to evolve and re-outfit the whole trailer, so I just wanted to capture it in its current form that, you know, it, I kind of like exceeded what I set myself up for. So these types of things are a, a, a constant evolution for a lot of us. So I got this trailer about six years ago and uh, this is how I have it currently set up. Uh, first project is these units over here. The first project I did out of all of this. Um, I like having open and closed storage simultaneously. So I set these doors up to retract out of the way. Uh, like I said, they've been working fantastically for the past like four or five years. I had the trailer a good year before I could even build anything into it. Everything has its place and every place has its thing. So as you travel down the road, your tools don't shake around like a maraca per se. Um, I did light the inside using LEDs. I found uh, these strips on Amazon for like $7.50 a roll for 16 feet. Couldn't beat it. And these cabinets are mainly just all power tools. I outfitted the entire trailer with E-Track. I even routed it down into the floor about a quarter inch to eliminate the amount of profile height that it had. This is fantastic. When I load lumber directly in the middle of it, I can ratchet it right down to the floor. Um, you know, I carry a lot of my materials in this as well as my tools, uh, which is why I got an eight and a half foot wide trailer. Uh, the second unit I want to talk about is this one over here. This whole unit here is three separate vertical bookcases. They're all on locking casters. They all roll away from the wall. And behind that wall is a digging tool storage setup back there. I've got every type of pickaxe, shovel, sledgehammer, come along, stone rods. I built these on the concept that I wanted to have two five gallon buckets be able to be staggered on the base. And then I also built them might be hard to capture on video but they're at a slant by about three inches from the bottom to the top they taper backwards and that is for the sole concept that I build a lot of custom shelving and cabinetry and I carry a lot of uh, dry, uh, plywood and drywall so I can stack all of it right here it's fully supported and leaned up against the wall and then I can strap the whole thing off to the wall and I won't have to worry about it tipping over and crushing my saw or my other tool stands over here. Um, currently, up top is where I store my tracks for my track saws and guides for my router. Uh, this little unit here holds my sandbags. I have a couple of uh, pop-up awnings, you know, by Easy Up. Um, they uh, come in extremely handy because weather constantly changes here. So either you've got shade from the beating sun or a light rain. You know, I keep um, two of them in here. One is a 10 by 15 and the other one's a 10 by 10. There's times where, you know, I'm just setting up shop and I'll take over someone's back deck and just set the whole entire pop-up unit. It's fantastic. We have a, a cheap goods place, a, a chain out here called Ocean State. And I got the 10 by 15 for, I think, all of $150. I've used it a dozen times. It's been fantastic for the, the expenditure of money. Here in the front is currently that's my painting gear this is my drywall gear in these totes 18 inch roller tray filled to the brim and over with drop cloths because we can't have enough drop cloths um back here is where we have the 10 by 15 the 10 by 10 these are extension tables from my bosch um gravity rise table Back here, I have torsion box tables. So it's just your standard fold up table hardware attached to a, uh, a torsion box that's laminated by plywood on either side and glued and stapled into place. They've been fantastic little workbenches. 
Um, here is where I keep all of my smaller tool items, hand tools and whatnot. So the whole idea of this entire unit came from the fact that I didn't want to lose the space and be able to have a mechanics tool set because sometimes you just got to fix your tools and you, uh, you need ratchets and stuff like that. So I didn't want to lose this space that was necessary right here. So then I developed the whole idea of having a pullout. And when I developed that, then the whole idea of this whole thing came into place. So for your small tool items, I use the uh, fast cap Kaizen foam. So up here we have planes, blades, and automobiles. And this one will have all measurement and layout. Uh, about to fi be filled with a few more goodies hopefully soon. And uh, so these are yet to be filled. The bottom one, I found a good place for all of my snips and aluminum tools with some room for future ones. And as well, everybody needs a few creature comforts. So in this drawer we have microwave, soon to be power inverter. That's gonna power all of this stuff on the inside here. And coffee station. Um, See here, my fast cap saw hood for my uh, Bosch chop radial. Uh, I have a whole landline set up, so we have the whole breaker system here, and there's a, a cord coiled up under this saw uh, canopy that um, plugs into a dryer outlet or a, or a stove outlet. And then um, underneath the uh, the QB cabinets here, you know, shop vac made a flip top table for my router and thickness planer. And uh, back here is a cut table for processing plywood. So you lay your sheet on there, you do all your cuts, all the sawdust falls clean through. And it's been fantastic. That's been going about five, running, five years running strong now. And uh, I plan to make an update to it so that I can actually store my track saw tracks in it. Um, and yeah, finally over here, you know, just your planks, your saw horses, extensions for the chop saw or whatever else I need to use them for. Um, contractor turned me on to using 10 gauge wire, especially for using a generator or long distances. Your tools spin right over with no resistance whatsoever. It's been fantastic. Um, just get a 300 foot spool from your... Um, local box store it was like 300 bucks for 300 feet couldn't beat it you couldn't get two 100 foot 10 gauge cords for under the price it took me to do all of this and I got 300 feet in total and uh, my trusty Bosch table saw and right now it is serving as a co-hanger for my Atlas 46 tool vest this thing is fantastic it's the master carpenter kit um, absolutely love that and uh, yeah this whole unit is a uh, run on a generator as well and which is located inside of here and uh, I am about to reinvent this whole area because I just got a rigid stacking tool system which I have already loaded up with all my drywall and paint tools I just wanted to show what this thing used to be like in here going to reorganize that over the next couple of days and then also I have a generator in which I built a tray for it to be accessible slide on and there is an RV battery that powers all the LED lights inside and soon to be an inverter so this trailer is a Bravo it is 16 foot by eight and a half foot and uh, last I remember I think is just under 10 feet at the top of the ladder racks which is a big a bit of a pain so hopefully by the end of the winter I'll have more updates for you thank you